And welcome back to the Morning Blend, where we're cooking with the machine shed. We're almost breaking some glass yes. here for a second. We'll I love that sound. <laughs> Are you feeling a little crabby today? Well, then Chef Kurt Wagner may be able to help because he's got a tasty dish. That involves crab. Nice mm -hmm. to have you this morning. Thanks well, for being here. Yeah, it's great to be here. Everybody's again. into fish this time of year mm -hmm. because of Lent and everything else. So you brought another dish where people can get away from meat. A fish That's dish. That's exactly right. And what we've got here is we've got two haddock fillets. Okay. We're going to be running this as a special today for like lunch haddock? and for dinner. Uh, well, it's a white fish. It's easy to work with. Uh, it's something that you can find in a supermarket. So okay. that's why I kind of did it here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. it's, not, it's not hard to find. You don't have to chase around the entire city. Pretty much any any decent store is going to have high haddock available. So it's sort of like the haddock is the, the main entree in this dish, but what mm -hmm. you use to stuff it is some of that crab, right? That's exactly right. Okay. And this mm -hmm. is it also involves a white wine sauce, right? That's correct. And that's okay. what we're going to top it with. And I've actually got a completed one over here. I don't know if we can get that. It on looks camera. delicious. Beautiful. Um, yeah. but, it's, but it's fantastic. And it's really quick and easy to make. We're just going to take the fillet. Is that two uh, fillets, or did you slice that in half? Uh, this is actually two different fillets. Okay. And, and there's there's a little more to the fillet, but I cut the tip off on, on each end. Okay. Uh, okay. Just to make it a little more uh, appearance-wise nicer. We're just going to slice right down the middle, all the way mm -hmm. through the skin, which is on the back side. Okay. And then this is going to open up, so we have a place to put our oh, stuffing. Oh yeah. Uh, in the middle. And so you it's leave just the skin open on. Up like this, and the skin stays on. Okay. Uh, that's actually edible. So that's oh, not going to be okay. a problem. And that's so probably good go for you. Mm -hmm. Like this, and then we're going to go right into our breading. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's in your breading? Uh, our breading has got flour, salt, pepper, uh, black pepper, I should say, cayenne pepper, onion, and garlic powder. Mm. Okay. Uh, and that's right in the recipe. And you can actually add some other things to this, too. If you prefer it to be a little browner or a little crunchier, you can take some croutons and crush them up and put them in here. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can take... Uh, uh, Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind here while yeah. I'm trying to do this. <laughs> well, you're busy, so I get that. Uh, or some Parmesan cheese would be very good in this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, as well. I smell the garlic. And we're just going to put that. this in here and uh, flip this one over. I'm just going to finish this one here. We've got our stuffing right over here. So, are you getting ready to bake that, Kurt? That's exactly okay. right. What we're going to do is I'm just going to take some of this and we're going to put it mm. right here in the center. And what is some of that? Uh, this is our crab stuffing. Uh, we've got uh, some, I like to use rye bread in this. I'll use rye and white and maybe some pumpernickel. Uh, a little bit of heartier bread because it kind of goes with a fish fry. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of the way that we work it out. So but this is like a, a lump crab or an imitation crab? Or? Uh, that's what I use in this particular one, mm -hmm. but you can, use, you can use lump crab, you could use shrimp, uh, you could use any kind of shellfish that you want. Okay. Uh, whatever your favorite is, you can put it in the same recipe. Looks fantastic. Um, and what about the wine sauce that you gave us the recipe for? Because this is a white wine sauce. It has a little butter, some cream, a chicken base, chives, the white wine, and then um, the, the flour. That's something that you put over the top of it? That's exactly right. We're just going to cover the top of that really lightly, and that's, again, going to give it a real nice flavor. It's going to kind of tie it together because the crab is kind of sweet. Right. Uh, and the bread is going to be a little bit spicier because of the cayenne pepper that's in there. Uh, and that kind of just ties the two of them together. So it's a fantastic dish. It tastes wonderful. Now, how long do you bake that for? You're going to bake this covered for 20 minutes. You don't have to cover it tight. Just if you have a, uh, like a metal lid, like, like a regular pot cover is fine. And there's nothing uh, on the bottom here. There's uh, no all, water. Oh, no, there's no water. But I did spray the pan with a, with a, a vegetable uh, oil spray. Okay. So okay. Yeah, so that's gonna, plenty. Uh, otherwise, it's going to stick. And that's plenty. And you okay. put that in there. And you're going to take this. You're going to bake it for 20 minutes covered. Uncover it in about 10 minutes. You're going to have to kind of look at it a little bit because you want a little color to it. Mm -hmm. So it might take 10, 12 minutes in your oven at home, but right in that vicinity. So in about 35 minutes, you can have a real nice meal. The mm. machine shed is a great place to, to visit. We have video from the restaurant when we were able to go out and, and visit, and all of your main dishes are served with some great sides because every time you make a visit, what do you get with your meal? Well, you're going to get cottage cheese, coleslaw, you're going to get your choice of potato and vegetable. Uh, our fresh baked bread and sweet bread. And mm. everything's served family style. It's super comfortable, a great place to go. If you've got a big group or you're just going out with the family, this is also a great time to visit because there are lots of great fish specials, seafood that you can enjoy, especially on those Fridays when um, during Lent you're trying to avoid the meat. And the gift shop is worth mentioning too. You always bring so many fun items. Um, we've got these great trivets. In fact, um, as you see the gift store, you can see all the different cookbooks, um, sauces, spice mix, T-shirts, um, great gift ideas that are kind of unique to um, Wisconsin as well. And Tiff's holding a trivet. And what's cool about this I've never is heard that, of these. Yeah, you can set a hot pan on this. But or also, look what you can do with it. You can it put it around. around a coffee mug when it's yeah. hot. A little more user uh, green friendly to the earth, and, and it just goes like that. Yeah, and there's one that's bigger too. And then these are super fun. We got the pig popper and the moo popper. 
How and then little is that? things for kids. I mean, how fun is that? You squeeze, you squeeze their tummy it. and the ball goes flying. Love it. I like that. Lots of great stuff. And people can make reservations too, especially if they have a good uh, big group. I know you do catering as well. And all people need to do is call the phone number that you'll see on the screen. The Machine Shed is located in both Pewaukee as well as Appleton. You can see those phone numbers there on your screen for reservations, more information or directions. Go to machineshed.com. That's the website. You're also on Facebook and Twitter. Nice to have Kurt, you Kurt, which kind of cookie should I have? <laughs> I think you should have more. Okay. <laughs> One right. of we'll, each. We'll start with the uh, oatmeal raisin. Oatmeal raisin. I mm. love it.